Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and connect your iRobot Roomba Combo i5 Plus. If you're interested in this robot vacuum cleaner and mop with self-empty base, the link to it will be in the video description. First thing you have to do is go to your app store, doesn't matter if it's iOS or Android, search for the iRobot app, get it downloaded, sign in or create an account, and we'll get this set up. Here's the iRobot app. You'll see we have multiple devices already set up. So yours might look a little bit different, probably empty if you don't have any devices here. No big deal, we gotta add our combo i5. So in the top right hand corner, select add your product. You may be prompted to enable location, services if it can find the device nearby. May or may not show up there. In our case, it didn't. You could scan a QR code if you have one. In our case, we're just gonna manually select the product. So you'll see right here, we can pick and choose the different options that we have. Uh, vacuum robot Roomba, vacuum and mopping combo robot Roomba combo, and then your Brava Jets. So we wanna go to the middle image here and with the Roomba combo J series and the Roomba combo I series, we wanna select the I series. And we have a checklist for getting started. So we'll go ahead and we'll continue through that. Connect your Wi-Fi network, enter your password, and then you'll see it's time to activate the Roomba. So we're gonna press and hold the spot and home buttons for a couple of seconds. We got our chime there. Press the button, select continue. Now it's searching for our vacuum. And now you'll see it's connecting to our Wi-Fi right here and it's gonna work on verifying the password and establishing cloud connection. All right, we just heard a chime and the light has changed. That leads me to believe that we've already connected. Now we're just waiting, there we go, for the app to catch up. But we got that final tune and voice prompt, letting us know it's all set and ready to go. So we're gonna select continue. We're gonna name it the combo, came in spell. We want to do I5. We're going to do the combo I5 for this one. Select done. Setup's complete. Now it's loading our app experience. And here's the welcome screen for that. We can select next. We have seven slides to go over. It walks us through different features of this particular vacuum, how it navigates, how it charges, all that good stuff. It's sensors, how to prep your home. And then you'll see now it's taking us into the app right here. Now let's go ahead, let's get our mopping module set up and connected with our vacuum. Make sure you have your tank nearby. We're just gonna go through the setup process again to add our mop. So let's select skip because it's not gonna be using location. We'll let it go through this prompt for a second. We will be having to scan the QR code. So that's what we're gonna select right here. I have a QR code, scan QR code and you'll see, there we go. To get started, install the Roomba combo bin into the robot it came with, so we can pick and choose which vacuum we want, which is interesting because you can't use it with the J6 Plus, but we can add it to our J9 non-combo unit, which is cool. But in this case, we're gonna do the combo I5 because that's what it's supposed to go with. So we'll just gently put the tank in and we're gonna choose the i5 right there. It's loading our experience. This could just take a few minutes. All right, and there you go. Now the i5 can vacuum and mop. So we can go ahead and select let's go. They have a couple prompts for you to start your location. Make sure you have it positioned properly. Non-carpeted floors. So if you have a drip tray, you get the idea. Now they'll show us how to use it, how to attach the pad, how to fill it up, and how to start a combo job within the app after each job, how to clean it, and uh, prepare your space. So you get the idea how to pick stuff up. They walk you through everything you need to know about getting it set up. So there we go, now our combo I5 is set up and ready to go to vacuum and mop. All right, so we got our first clean out of the way. Let's go back into the app. We'll see everything populated right here. First up, you'll notice front and center, it's unable to start. Please place it on a flat surface. And maybe you can tell, maybe you can't, but it's leaking out a bunch of water here too since we have it tipped up. So not the best idea, especially with a full tank 
of water. So it is smart enough to see that, sense that, and communicate with your phone. Top right-hand corner is gonna be more information to adjust for your account settings, things like that. Further down, you'll see our map right here. Very basic mapping. We can just adjust the layout of our rooms, redivide them as needed, relabel them. That's gonna be about it with the mapping features, but you are able to have multiple maps created right here. But keep in mind, it will delete the previous one. So you can make multiple maps, but it's only gonna save one at a time. Next, you'll see our favorite section. So this is where you can add favorites. Do you wanna just clean a particular room? What do you use most often or most frequently? You can add your favorites there. So in this case, vacuum everywhere. Then we have our scheduling options. So for the schedule, you have your typical schedule, choose the day of the week, hour, minute, things like that. So we could create a schedule here. And then where do you want it to clean? Do you want it to mop after? You get the idea. So that's what we got, or we have the automation. So this is gonna be where it's smart enough to sense when you're gone and clean that way. So pick and choose which one you want. And then we have our cleaning history. So you'll see our cleaning history, our previous clean right here. So we covered almost 500 square feet in about two hours, one hour cleaning, one hour charging. That's how it's gonna work. If it has any dirt events for you, it'll keep track of those there too but everything in green is where it was able to clean. And then you'll see any device messages, product health. So we have statuses for our vacuum. Then we have our product settings. So gonna be very limited here. We can't adjust suction or anything like that, but we can adjust our cleaning um, preferences for the amount of passes, one, two, or room size clean. We can learn more about the Roomba. We can locate it if it's lost or missing. We have child lock, language settings, we can reboot it, view and change our Wi-Fi info right there. And then lastly, we got our iRobot beta. If there's any beta features for the vacuum, you can check and enable them right here within the app. So that's a quick look at your Roomba Combo i5. That's gonna be what you'll see with your vacuum and mop.